Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way through the Farren Keep. But before we do, like always, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I actually did quite a bit. Number one, I farmed up a ton of souls, 80,000 to be precise, so that we can level up five times. I also went ahead and put on the poison bite ring. We're going to be going through a poisonous swamp today. So I put that on along with some purple moss clumps and some alluring skulls. I also went ahead and bought all of the spells from Orbeck. Uh, if you haven't done that, you don't have to do it right away, but I would recommend doing it soon. So if you haven't done that, try to get that done soon. And that's all I did. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is level up. Welcome home, Ashen One. Speak thine heart. Very well, then taken. We're going to put one into Vigor, one into Endurance. Vitality, Strength, and Dex. So we probably won't put any more into Vitality. Farewell, Ashmade. And I don't think we need to talk to anybody. So let's go ahead and make our way to Farron Keep. We're going to come over to where the Road of Sacrifices are, and we're going to come down to Farron Keep. First things first, we're going to come over here to the left. There's a developer message that says extinguish three flames and open the door to the wolf's blood. It's a little hint on what we need to get done. Grab this ragged mask. There's a ton of these slugs in Farron Keep or Farron Swamp, whatever you want to call it. As soon as we step in this water, we're going to start getting poisoned. And then when we get right here, we're going to start fat rolling. Grab Iron Flesh. Pretty good spell if you want to boost your poise. And then we are going to have these big old creepy enemies here. You can use a alluring skull and that will take his aggro away from you. That's why we brought the alluring skulls around. You can also throw it into that fire and the fire will help kill the big old enemies. I believe they're a type of Gru, which we have not come across yet. It's going to run over there into the fire. And the fire just outright killed him. They can drop heavy gems pretty commonly, actually. They'll drop some heavy gems. Grab some Titanite shards. I'm just going to keep rolling. I wouldn't be too worried about getting poisoned or not. It doesn't make your health tick down too fast. You get the Nameless Armor set over here. Anybody that's played Dark Souls 1 knows that you can get that armor set by picking the knight class. We got invaded by Hazel again. We're gonna take care of her in just a second. Cure our poison. I'm gonna come up here. Now I know that I passed that beacon there. 
but I want to take that guy out first. And then we can run back down here. If Hazel comes over here, that's fine, but we don't want to be fighting that Gru along with Hazel at the same time. Pick up a rusted gold, gold coin, and then we're going to extinguish the flame. So Hazel should have made her way over here. Yep. Easy. Peasy, lemon squeezy. Now we can come down here. We're back into this swamp. By the way, if you have a dagger, you can use that to get through the swamp easier. Just two-hand it and hit L2. You'll do like a slide across the ground. Careful of these basilisks. They're not really dangerous in the sense of they're going to hit you very hard. But they do cause curse buildup. And curse... If it fully fills up, it will outright kill you. So keep that in mind. They drop repair powder pretty frequently. So if you need that for any chance, you should grab it here. Get the golden scroll. And then the antiquated set which is Dusk's armor set from Dark Souls 1. We have another one of those big Gru guys. We're not going to mess with him. We're going to run along this wall. He shouldn't see us. If he does, we'll deal with him then. But we should pass him without any incident. All right, let's go in here. We've got a bunch of slugs. Not really difficult. They're just grouped up in an annoying kind of way. I have the worst time with walls, I tell you what. Grab an undead bone shard. That'll be really handy. They can drop poison gems, by the way. And... To be honest, poison gems are kind of worthless. You can put it on a weapon, but I mean, poison ticks down so slow, it's almost not worth it. Go ahead and grab that Titanite Shard. Grab a wolf blood sword grass. You can turn those into a covenant that we're about to be a part of here in just a moment. We'll 
cure our poison. And then we're going to climb this ladder. So we see a doorway right here. We're not going to go in there just yet. We have an item to get and a crystal lizard to kill. Maybe. Get him in a corner. Take him out pretty easily. Get a twinkling titanite. And then right here, if we roll into this, it is an illusory wall. Pick up the dream chaser's ashes. Can turn that into the handmaid. Like this bonfire. And then we're going to talk to this wolf. We get the Legion Etiquette. We can ask to join the Covenant. We get the Watchdogs of Farron Covenant item. This covenant will allow you to become a watchdog of Farron and you'll be able to invade other people's world to pretty much protect Farron Keep. And then you'll turn in the wolf blood sword grass to that wolf. We're going to take this elevator up. Right over here we have a stray demon just wandering around. Kind of looks like stone. If you focus on one leg, you can get it to break. Try not to be underneath them when they do that. You got the leg to break. Now he can't do much. And there we go. Killed the stray demon. For killing it, we get the soul of a stray demon. Grab an ember. And then a great axe. So if you didn't get a great axe to drop from one of those enemies in the last episode, you get one right over here and then get another ember. And then we're going to run straight back here. Still not done with this area just yet. I'm going to fall down. And then we're going to have a few crystal lizards. First one, we're going to run it into the wall. Get it wedged right here. Get ourselves a large titanite shard. We have one more over here. Get another large titanite shard. Get the Lightning Spear spell. Really good spell for all you faith builds. Get the Dragon Crest Shield. And then we have another Crystal Lizard. What I like to do is stay close to the wall and try to get the Crystal Lizard to be on this side. Because if it goes on the other side, you're going to have a bad time. You're probably going to get all of these enemies to wake up because there's a guy with a lantern that'll scream up top if he sees you. Crystal Lizard gives us a heavy gem, which when you put it on a weapon, it will boost your strength. Well, it won't boost your strength, but it will make it to where your weapon scales with strength. That's what I meant to say. 
gonna run to the top here. Take this guy out. Then it doesn't matter that this guy is screaming with his lantern. He's screaming to a whole lot of nothing. Screaming to the void. And then there's nothing else over here so we can drop down. By the way, on the other side over there is the undead settlement. Here, let me come over here. Be able to see it a little better. Over, maybe not. Well, if I would have actually showed everybody on the other side where that dead dragon is, that's where the undead settlement is. That's where we got dropped off at the beginning of the game from the Lothric Castle. Pretty cool. Kind of see where you've been and where you are going to be going. Always love that in Souls games. Unless it's Dark Souls 2 and then, I don't know, their uh, zone placement is just, it doesn't make any sense. I'm going to go down this ladder. Run over here. Like I said, uh, if you don't want to fat roll through all that stuff, just uh, use a dagger. Two hand it. And you should be good. careful of the Gru right here and then we're gonna have a big old crab be careful for him but we're gonna have a little bit of help from our giant bro he's gonna shoot some arrows at the crab there we go yeah shoot the arrows bud Kind of help if you want. So when the crab dies, you get the lingering dragon crest ring. Let's pick up the crown of dusk and these young white branches. Grab a soul. Grab some gold pine resin. Take that grew out. Get this one's attention. Then we get another scroll. This is a Sage's scroll. Come over here. We got a couple more Gru. Or at least one more. I know that. Grab a Titanite shard. And then we're going to come up top here. Take a purple moss clump. And then we're going to use an alluring skull here in just a second to help us out. So what I like to do is I like to throw it as far as I can, kind of in the middle there. And that's the easiest way you can take care of them. Now we see three of those big grues. The easiest way I have found to take care of them is using a bow. So I get their attention. Be 
Be really careful because it's going to send those red skulls at you. Then it'll turn around. Get two pot shots at him. If you can. Run back over here. Let it de aggro. Hit him again. Every now and then you'll miss that second shot. This, in my opinion, is the best strategy for these guys. Okay, there, he's going to send out the red skulls. You can go behind this tree, you can dodge them, you can do whatever you want. Pretty easy to deal with. Oh, wow, just missed him. There we go. Ooh, he was quick. Dodge that. Again, dodge the skulls. Go behind this tree. Whatever you want to do. Just trying to give everybody the best method to deal with some of the enemies that can be a little more difficult. I wouldn't say they're, like, impossible, but they can pose a challenge. For a lot of new players. And sure, I mean, it is cheesy. But I feel like a little cheese is okay. Nothing wrong with a little cheese. We're going to get the Ferris hat for killing that one. And then a lot of people's favorite bow is dropped from this enemy. Try to get a headshot. Is he just stuck there? No, he's he's moving. Just gotta be patient. And then for killing him, you get the Black Bow of Ferris. Really good deck scaling bow. Gonna extinguish this flame. Now we can come down here, grab this item, be really careful not to aggro that Gru right there. That Gru, if you let him jump on you, hurts so freaking bad, so be very, very careful. What I like to do is 
Toss that right there. Just like that. Don't let them jump on top of you, grab you, any of that. You're going to have a bad day if you do. Take this guy out. And then we're going to veer off to the left. Grab ourselves the great sword. Turn around because you're going to have a Gru right behind you. Take him out fairly easily. Get some more purple moss clumps. Go ahead and take another purple moss clump. And then we're going to come over here. Take this guy out. Thought I had enough room to take him out. Apparently not. We're going to come behind here. We have one more guy. Kill him. Grab ourselves some rotten pine resin. And then we're going to extinguish the last flame. Let's go down here. Have just a couple more items to get. This item right here is super important. It's an Estus shard. And we're going to grab this item over here. If you want, you can kill these slugs. Doesn't really matter. Get another Titanite Shard. Grab some Prism Stones. And right over here, kill this slug. Get the Stone Perma. Take out that slug. Pick up some Pine Resin. Rotten Pine Resin, I'm sorry. And then we are going to have one of these Dark Knights. If I can stop getting my ass kicked. You can kick that away whenever they do that red shield. Stagger him. And then right over here, we get the Sage's Coal. And now instead of running all the way back, what we can do is use a Homeward Bone. Let's do that now. We're not going to go to the Shrine Bonfire. We're going to go to the Bonfire Last Rested At. So don't go that way. We want to come down this way. And we can go ahead and take off 
all of this. We don't need any of that anymore. And we can put on the gold pine bundle. Up top, we're going to have a carrion storyteller. Make sure to kill it or else it's going to wake up all the other ones. Don't want that. It's going to be a hot mess if so. Grab a shriving stone. And then we're going to go up top here. Be really careful. A couple more of those knights. Come over here. We're going to light this bonfire. Take these guys out. And then right over here we have a big crystal lizard. So two charged R2s. Get that stagger for the critical. Get two Titanite scales. Grab the great magic weapon and then open up this door and it leads over to where the road of sacrifices were. The first part of Fair and Keep. Where I was getting my butt kicked by that black knight. Now we're going to come down over here. Grab ourselves atonement. Which, if you use that spell, it's just going to attract enemies to you. Grab a hollow gem. That's our first hollow gem. And then we are going to use another homeward bone. Again, we're going to go to the last bonfire we rested at. So if we come right over here, we can summon in the Londor Pale Shade. And after summoning her in, she's going to give us a gesture. The dual bow. Now, her AI just absolutely sucks. Just going to forewarn everybody. Good luck on trying to get her through this doorway. Every now and then she'll get stuck right there and just, it, it's stupid. I don't know why she just does. Want to wait a minute? For those knights to path by. One of them may or may not see us. That's okay if it does. Not going to try to get its attention. We're going to be getting rid of the Pale Shade anyways. We're just bringing her through here to help us. my opinion, she kind of sucks, so I don't ever really bother summoning her in. I'm just showing everybody.
for really, really sneaky. Of course, Pale Shade's going to mess it up. Could have snuck up on him, backstabbed him. Not the biggest deal in the world that we didn't do that, but, you know, you can do it if you want to. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Pale Shade. Send her home. And then we can summon in Black Hand Gotthard. I don't know if it's Gotthard or Goddard. Maybe it's Goddard. I have no clue. He's going to give you the gesture by my sword. Also, you can summon in Cirrus, but only if you have met her at the Firelink Shrine. Now let's go ahead and fight the boss. One of my favorite bosses and my favorite cutscenes. This boss definitely has that Bloodborne slash Lady Maria feel to it. You can use Gold Pine Resin. That will do a lot more damage to them. They're weak to lightning. If I can heal. Let me heal. The one with the red eyes will actually attack the other... Abyss Watchers. So you can have them fight each other. So freaking cool. I love that cutscene. Oh, he went out after uh, Black Hand. And that's the Abyss Watchers. So for killing our first Lord of Cinders, we're going to get the Cinders of a Lord. That's our first one. And we're also going to get the Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. So what we're going to do is we're going to 
light this bonfire. Rest at the bonfire and we're going to travel over to the Road of Sacrifices. We're going to go up to where we met the giant. Take the elevator up. And unfortunately, everybody, the giant is dead. Pour one out for our homie, huh? So we're going to get the hawk ring from him. That will boost the length on where your arrow will hit so instead of it being at a shorter distance you can shoot something further away let's go ahead and use a homeward bone and go back to the shrine i'll see everybody at the shrine bonfire all right everybody i don't know why i called it the shrine firelink shrine is what i meant uh my game crashed in the middle of a load um, and then I had already put the undead bone shard in there, unfortunately. So make sure that you burn your undead bone shard. I apologize for that. Let's go ahead and talk to Egon. Yeah. Ah, I know you. Been some time since we met in person. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now, what are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> then we're gonna talk to Ludlith. Not really talk to him, but go over to his transposing kiln. Ah, so. so if we're killing the stray demon, we can get the boulder heave or we can get Havel's ring. Now, in my personal opinion, if it's your first playthrough, go ahead and get Havel's ring because that's going to boost your equip load and you'll be able to wear heavier stuff. If we're killing the abyss watchers, we can get the fair and great sword or we can get the wolf knight's great sword. Anybody that's played Dark Souls 1 knows where this sword is from. If you know, you know. Now, now. Now we're going to come over here and he is gone. So we'll, we'll uh, have to fast travel back to the shrine bonfire and um, see if he'll return. Uh -huh. For now, let's go ahead and give the handmaid some... Ash, the dream, uh, the dream chasers' ashes. Oh my goodness! Ashen one, what woeful umbral ash is this? This barren dust, stuff of a fool, won't yield aught. Where didst thou happen upon the stuff? Tell me for the sport. Oh yes, I see. Clinging to lofty dreams in this dying world, more's the pity. It must come from one most foolish indeed. Wouldst thou not agree? <laughs> Ashen one. We're gonna go over to Andre. Ah, well met. Tis good. What? 
We're going to reinforce our Estus Flask. And then we're going to give him the Sage's Coal. Which the Sage, Sage's Coal is going to allow you to imbue your weapon with Crystal and the uh, Deep Effect. Well, well. What's the Undead Legion doing with a coal such as this? I'd heard one of the Crystal Sages had sided with Farron's Abyss Watchers. I suppose it must be true. You should know. This coal is imbued with magic. First one I've ever seen. Hardly a surprise, is it? I've never been one for books or wise men. <laughs> Pretty be careful. <laughs> now let's go over to Orbeck. We're going to give him some scrolls. Back again, I, I so Give him the Sage's scroll. Oh my. This is stupendous. And the Undead Legion of Farron possesses sorceries quite unknown. Thank you for upholding your end of the bargain. I doubt I ever would have made this discovery alone. Now, let us unravel the thing, so you may put these new sorceries to use. <laughs> and then we're going to give him the golden scroll. Oh my. Well, this is very unusual. It's from Ulysseal, an ancient land of golden sorceries. Not even the Dragon School possesses such a long-lost scroll. What would the Xanthus scholars say? With their ridiculous headwear? <laughs> they would simply slaver over this find. <laughs> it is folly to claim lives recklessly, friend. Do not be tempted. No matter the victim's stature, every killing has a consequence. Even as I bloodied my hands, I never realized this simple truth. There I was, the very definition of a fool. Then we're going to talk to him one more time, and for giving him those scrolls, he's going to give us an item. Oh, I have something for you. You're a fine sorcerer now, no mistake. You should have something to prove it. Go on. If I'm giving something away, you'd better well take it. <laughs> Come again. Um, now let's go ahead and use one more Homeward Bone and see if we can't get... Um, should I forget his name? Crestfallen is pretty much what I call him. We got Sirius right here. That's good. We want her. And we got the guy to come back as well. Let's talk to Sirius real fast. Hello again. I have since heard a great deal about you. For one, that you are most gentle of heart. I too am bound by duty, but can offer you my sign. I hear that cordial intrusion lays the path to embers. If I can be of help, by all means, do call upon me. Blessing of the moon upon your journey. So she gives us the dark moon loyalty gesture. If you should require assistance, bless... Just making sure we uh, went through all of her dialogue. Let's go ahead and talk to Hawkwood. That's his name, Hawkwood, not Crestfallen. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even accursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> You oft the Lords of Cinder, the Undead Legion. So that's how they're delivered to their thrones. 
I pity the sorry souls. Is that really Lordship's last reward? <laughs> We're gonna talk to him one more time. Ah, I failed to thank you for helping them find their final resting place. So, the Farron Ring, if you use any of your weapon arts and have that ring on, you will use less FP. We're going to come over here, and we're going to put the Lord of Cinders, at least the Abyss Watchers, on their throne. Okay, now that that's all done, let's go ahead and come over here, and we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, whatever time it may be. In your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.